Hey guys, today we're going to be talking about the US Model Y finally getting the 4680 batteries, so if you're interested, stay tuned. So during the shareholders meeting this last week on October 7th, Elon mentioned that the 4680 batteries would finally go into production on the Model Y. So if we back up just a little bit, in September of 2020, Elon and Tesla held Battery Day, and in, during that uh, presentation they presented a new form factor battery, which was the 4680 form factor battery. And all the number really means is the size of the battery. So 46 and 80 are 46 millimeters wide and 80 millimeters tall. Now while the new size isn't all that impressive, you really just can compare it to the 2170s as like an A battery to a D battery. What is impressive is that the 4680 batteries are tabless. And so what that means is basically each cell can hold more energy and it can handle more power at the same time. And these batteries are basically the future for Tesla. So these 4680 batteries are how Tesla is going to create that $25,000 car that's supposed to be coming in the next few years here. And what this also means is that with less batteries used per car, that means that they can save on battery costs and they can create more cars because they're going to have more batteries now to use per car. And also the structural pack lets each car handle more batteries if needed for an extended range Model Y or a Model 3 down the road. Down the road. So also during the meeting, Elon did mention that the 4680 batteries are doing limited production right now in Fremont, and they're supposed to go into full production early next year out of Fremont. During the meeting, I don't believe he mentioned a specific time frame on when they're going to go into full production next year. My guess would be Q1 if they're already starting a limited kind of pilot program, you know, production right now. One key nugget that he did mention is that with full production of the 4680 batteries uh, next year in Fremont, that capacity will be able to handle all the needs of Austin, Giga Austin, until they can get up running at full production themselves and create the 4680 batteries there for the Model Y and the future Cybertruck that should be coming, you know, end of 2022, some, sometime around there. And of course the 4680 batteries are a significant milestone for the Cybertruck as well because that's really the only way you're going to be able to get 500 miles out of a car um, is with these 4680 batteries that can handle more energy and the structural pack where you can pack more of them in at once compared to you know the 2170 batteries that aren't as efficient and more importantly they're really heavy like batteries in general are really heavy so you want as least amount of cells as you can in one car that way you uh, you know, the batteries aren't as heavy for the car and it doesn't, you know, destroy your efficiency. One other interesting point I am pondering is if the Model Y with 4680 batteries will have an extended range, we'll say 400 plus miles compared to the 326 miles that the long range uh, all-wheel drive Model Y has now. For me, that would be the perfect range, even if they charge just a little bit more for it. I think 400 miles is the perfect range for families. That way when you're driving around and things like that, you know, you just have that little more range. And especially because we know that Tesla does their EPA estimates kind of weird. And we know that nobody is actually going to get 400 miles. And so just having that extra range is going to be very useful for, I think, a lot of people. However, my gut is telling me they're probably not going to increase the range of the batteries, at least not yet. And I think what they're going to do is they're just going to use less 4680 batteries to create that same amount of range that the Model Y has now. And I think this is what's going to happen, at least for now, because Tesla has so much demand for the Model Y that they can't stay up. So there's no point in raising the range of the car when they can't even stay up with demand for the current 326 miles. And we know they still have a ton of demand for the car, because if you were to order the car today, it's going to take you about six months to get the car, Whereas before, it was about two or three months. So we know that they're, they're kind of falling behind trying to stay up with as many people ordering the car as they can push out. And on top of that, just recently, I believe a week or two ago, they raised the price on the Model, Ra Model Y long range by another $1,000. So they wouldn't do that if they didn't have demand, but they do. So basically, they can kind of get away with nickel and diming people because there's just so much demand for the car. On top of that, there's also no other crossovers right now in the market that can match the Model Y's range. So there's 
that's another reason why there's no reason for them to increase the range because nobody's even competing with them really. And so that's another reason why I think they're just going to use the 4680 batteries, uh, less of them to create the basically the same Model Y as the 2170 Model Y. So as I mentioned earlier, the 4680 batteries will allow Tesla to use less cells per car. And basically what that means is that's going to help them try and stay with demand because batteries are a bottleneck for EVs right now. And so by them using less cells per car, that means they can build more cars and try and stay up with that demand. So are you guys excited to see the 4680 Model Y in the structural pack? Do you think it's going to be able to charge faster even with the big form factor? Let me know in the comments. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And thanks for watching.